I had a heat loss survey done approximately a year ago because I wanted to know whether a heat pump would be appropriate for this particular house. And I think it's a complex area that I need a lot of advice in and it seems to me that the heat loss survey is the most important part of that. And they sent down two engineers who were going to measure how much heat was being lost from the building. When they got into the process, essentially they put up a series of heaters in every room. They switched them up to 25 degrees overnight and at midnight they switched them all off. And they measured the amount of heat loss through the walls in every room. That gave us what they called a thermal coefficient, which was basically how much energy is being lost through the walls and the roof of the house. It came out at the order of 7 kilowatts worth of energy, suggesting to us that a heat pump would have to put in 7 kilowatts in order to maintain an even temperature. And it was surprising how low that was compared with what I had expected. Thanks to an engagement with a local organisation called SUSWAT or Sustainable West Brom Trim, I've been finding a great deal about heat pumps, uh, reading up about them and trying to find out um, what is best for this particular house. The journey is, is a, a significant one and it is not right for all people at this time. I think it's about getting advice. It's essential to have a heat loss survey done in most houses. Wherever there is an older or quirkier house, it, it's particularly important. For me, it's critical that it has happened to make sure you get the right size of heat pump in the right properties.